Uh, so you're dressed for the occasion? Y'all look, take a look at Harry. He's dapper as always. <laughs> I can't repeat what he's calling me in case it's on air. Uh, I do want to welcome you to the post-war suburbs. We really appreciate you being here. I, of course, live right here, right behind you. Uh, thank you. And Dr. Friedman lives right here, which has uh, been the emblem on all the banners that you see, which is a perfect rendition of uh, what this architecture is all about if you look at his house. Uh, so we want to, again, welcome you. I will try to have a great day and enjoy yourselves. We have a trolley that will be riding around my son, Jude Michael. That's as close to a train on his street as he will get. Uh, he is in the train, big time. You will find that out later uh, as you see him react to him. So, uh, well, what else can we talk about? Lemonade. Oh, there's lemonade. Well, I don't want to sell my own daughter. My daughter's if you don't do it, I have to do it. My daughter's doing lemonade, guys, and she figured out, along with maybe Nydia Friedman, that if they were selling uh, very salty popcorn, then people would have to drink more lemonade. So they, they, they have a trick on y'all. You eat the popcorn, you get thirsty, buy more lemonade. All right, so anyway, thank you again for being out here. And where is, I need to thank a few people. Where's my Historic Preservation Commission folks? Could they all come up maybe for one moment? Yeah. Anybody here? I know y'all are here. There's one. Mr. Crump. Looking to you. Joe Betty, come on up. Florence Hall is at the table. Where's our executive right there? Okay. We're going to let our executive... Oh. Florence, where's Florence? She's hiding. I see her. She's coming. Okay. <laughs> the second official request of the day, I have a retiree over here who was letting me know some things she was concerned about. Which is good. That's the job, right? That's right. You're never off to. Hey, if I'm going to refer her to Harry. If I always have to uh, give people forecasts. You always have to listen to <laughs> <laughs> You did I'm a great saying, job during the saying. river fit. You, you forecasted down to the minute. It was pretty I, neat. That's fine. You I either were this. very lucky or you were really good. I'm that good. No, he's got an app for that. <laughs> Mr. There's Florence right there. Nice to see you. Okay, so guys, uh, who's chair right now? Joe Batty, come up and please introduce uh, your folks and Mr. Crump. Y'all come up and maybe say a few words about this because you spearheaded it and we appreciate it. I didn't mute my phone. Thank you all for coming today. We are so excited about your neighborhood. And Megan Lord is the executive director of the Historic Preservation District Commission. And we have some commissioners here today Florence Hall, Ed Crump. Do we have another one? I thought I did too, but we do have a city councilman here, Harry Silver. So welcome to the neighborhood. We want you to know Ed Larvardine, city councilman. We want you to feel the pride that we feel for your neighborhood. It is so special. It is the first mid-century modern uh, neighborhood on the register in our state. So we are very pleased. A group, uh, everyone in the community that has uh, worked together to put, make this event possible. Uh, cannot thank enough Dave and Judy Curry, um, who are neighbors and have been supportive the whole way through this nomination process. Dave's here. Dave's over here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have put together a really wonderful um, walking, self-guided walking tour brochure. So once you take your trolley tour, please remember to get off, come to this little table with the blue tablecloth over there, pick up a walking tour, and you can walk the rest of the neighborhood. Um, I'm going to forget somebody. Paul Smith is doing our uh, guided architectural tour on the trolley. Um, he's been a huge, important part of this process as well. Uh, we do not have our consultants here today that actually wrote the nomination, but that's Donna and Jonathan Fricker. Um, cannot thank enough the City of Alexandria Public Works Department, uh, David Gill, and everyone else who that entails that has worked to um, block off the streets, get the trolley out here, um, all of those little details that make a huge difference. Um, and, and of course the neighbors of this community, we just thank you so much for allowing us to come and celebrate with you. Rich. Rich Joyce. And Rich Joyce. Rich, how could I forget you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
appreciate you guys jumping on the opportunity when I called and asked um, if you would want to celebrate with us, and they said we would love to. So thanks for the entertainment that y'all are going to enjoy today, and we hope everyone has um, a great a great time and helps us celebrate today. Thanks. Thanks, Megan. Uh, I want to introduce everybody to David Gill. He's standing back here. Raise your hand, David, new public works director. Also, uh, who interacts uh, most directly probably with uh, HPC, Dolores Brewer, who is the planning director. Uh, so, listen, we thank you all again for being here. Um, does anybody want to tell? If you get a chance to ride the trolley tour and you get to talk to Paul, you can ask about if you live in the neighborhood, historic tax credits for any work that you may do on your home. A couple of things you may want to know, a lot of times people think that if you're on a register or something like that, then you have all these rules and you can't do anything to your house. It's not really how it works at all. In fact, you're free to do what you want still. But if you want the credits, there may be some things that you may want to comply with so that you get those credits. They're very meaningful if you redo things on your house. And again, we have a house behind us that you see kind of representative, right? The houses here, you'll see a lot of times the windows uh, that were built at this time, you can turn them and they're louvered like that and they crank. Uh, sometimes they're like mine in the front or not that way, but those would still be uh, relevant to it. That's more of a ranch style. This is more... Uh, you can see how the whole design is. Mostly, I guess, Megan, one-story houses would be typical of this, not two-story. Um, Robin has a, a flat roof, which are always fun to have if you have to work on them a little bit from time to time. So those credits may come in handy. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Is there anybody else we need to... I know we're missing people to thank that are have been very involved in this. Again, Dave Curry, thank you very much, Dave, for all that you've done. Okay, I think that's it. Is there anything we have to kick off Darrell? Hey, listen, y'all give Darrell a big hand too because he's a huge community supporter. He's always out there making noise and keeping people engaged. So thank you. I, I do what I can. This isn't working though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do what I can just for the community, but we're about to get this party started. We're about to have a good time. This block is going to be cranked up. Can I say that? Can I say cranked up? Is that cool? Okay, that's cool. He, he nodded yes. All right, we're, we're, like I said, we're about to have some fun. The trolley's going to be coming around every, what, uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes? Yeah. Something like that. So y'all get ready. This is going to be a party that we're going to start, and he's taking another mic from me. <laughs> All right, so forecast for today, sunshine. It might get a little bit hot, so if you get thirsty, there's some water over here. I think it's, what, like 50 cents a 50 bottle cents or something like that? It. Right. And so we got a couple little announcements. Absolutely. So you start. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dan Ford. Oh, wait, that's not the right film. Right. Okay. Trolley tours. Line will form at the driveway underneath the banner at Kimball and Madonna. That's on this corner right over here. That's just a general thing. But when you see the trolley coming, please make sure you're clear. Also, if we have any handicapped or elderly who want to take a trolley ride, please help them get their rides first. That's just common courtesy, and we're still so, That's how we act, right? Right. Thank you. Also, there's a, guarded, a guided architectural tour. The trolley runs every 20 to 25 minutes. There is limited seating, 25 passengers per tour. So, we, you know, don't sit in anybody's lap. We've got plenty of time. We'll also do our best to stay on schedule, but we can't guarantee everyone a ride, but I think maybe we can do that. We've got a couple hours. And we appreciate your consideration and hope you have a wonderful time. Back to the route. <laughs> All right, also there's a self-guided walking tour. You can tour the rest of the neighborhood at your own pace. So pick up a flyer from a volunteer on the corner lawn that's like, the, they're over here somewhere. Where, where are they? Right there. Right there. So you can get the brochures right over there and that's for the uh, uh, walking tour that you can do at your own pace. Uh, or access the walking tour map and home descriptions via your smartphone or tablet. And if you, need, if you want to do that, they have the website. I have the website, come see me and go. Okay, the Alexander...